Hello, trading is closed on September 19th, 2016. My last call said that this pattern on Friday was basically positive and that higher prices would print unless we promptly took out these lows. I said there was a good case to be made for having that happen, take out these lows promptly, and if so, I could explain what was going on with a drop into the middle 2000s by the end of next week. Well, obviously that didn't happen. There was no gap under the low, so that called for higher prices, which we got, and I'm going to have to reassess the situation, which I will. During the day, Meech AT said ultimately lower prices would print. It said that move was false, and that move was false, and all the targets have been hit, and we have no Meech AT targets for tomorrow. Well, we have positive and negative things from today's pattern. The commonest thing is that we gap or at least trade quickly outside of the day's range. The next most common is we close little change. Either of those could happen, but um, we have a case to be made for something else, which we'll see in just a minute. It's um, negative that you gap up, hit um, new highs, can't hold on to any of them. That negativity would be negated if we promptly capped up and promptly took out this high. It's um, positive, however, that we couldn't we couldn't uh, take out the middle of the day low if you're dropping all day long. That positive the, the positivity would be negated if we gapped down and promptly took out this low. I should also say that this is a pattern which tends to close at today's high, and if that doesn't happen and we don't gap over it, it tends to lead to lower prices. So we have things which are positive and negative unless we quickly trade outside of the day's range. The longer term call is we're going to have a drop into the middle 2000s. Arguing for that is the break of the TD line. And um, we have the combo and sequential sell signals, which have delivered, but usually deliver more than that. But we got a 913.9 sell signal, sequential sell in the 15-minute chart. All we have to do to start dropping is to confirm it by promptly going under the close of number 8 right here, and that's something the market refused to do. It might be telling us it isn't ready to drop quite yet. We also have 12 bars out of 13 of a sequential buy signal. Tomorrow's pattern tends to have a low in the first hour of trading. If so, I think there's a good chance we're going to cut this low and give ourselves bar 13. Now, the lower the number of the bar of the pattern, the greater the rally of the signal works. So if we get bar 13 early tomorrow and this low holds, we could have a good rally. If on the other hand this low falls, then the lowest number, the highest number, will be bar number 13, not bar number 2. Any recovery I would expect to be weaker. It might even go to a 9.13.9 and I would think that we would get from 9 bars of a combo buy all the way down to 13. So I'm looking for a drop early tomorrow. And if this low holds, we should get a good rally, but we'll have to wait till the second hour of trading, first or second hour of trading, to get confirmation of that. As always, a strong a gap changes the call. So for tomorrow, we might get a whipsaw with a drop early and then a recovery, the strength of the recovery, depending upon whether the... Uh, 2119 low holds, and that's today's call.